burnout. Oh, well, I, I got to get the minifigure illusion, dude. Whoa, whoa it's minifigure illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm here with minifigure Owl, but he's a real live human being. What are we doing? Lego set. Lego set. Father's. All right. Okay. So this was set. How much is number bag one or two? Number bag. Let's figure it. Let's let's do the opening entry. This was sent to us by Maria and Vern out of beautiful Victoria, British Columbia. You want to say thank you? They sent this to you for your thank birthday. You. Birthday. Well, look at them and say thank you, Maria. Thank you, Marie and Vern and. Uh, Number one. Here, so why don't you sit down? Why don't you sit down? And uh, we're doing a Father's Day build slash Owl's birthday present that was sent to us. And uh, all right, one. why don't you dump that out? <laughs> I will do it. Here, here's number bag one. And there's the little one. Oh, there's, okay. Let's put those away. All right, let's do this. Why don't you open those up? So, so Al, you're not going to start with that tone, are you, dude? That's a, that tone's a fail, dude, right off the bat, dude, buddy. Okay. We got a Dom's charger here. Fast and Furious promo Dom's charger. Let me, open, let me just open this. Coming in at... Coming in at something like 1,077 pieces. We like. All right, wait. Are you going to dump those out? You dumping those? All right, let's, let's dial that in a little better. Let's, we, got, we got this going on, on both channels right now. Happy Father's Day, dads out there. This day is, this day is for you. Super important. We raise our children, mothers yeah, and fathers. All right, let's. All right, so you're gonna start building this thing. You start building. I'll start talking because I. Uh, oh, look at number one. Yeah, the Dodge Charger, dude. Thing looks gnarly. Oh wait! Oh, we need that big piece. No, it's not in there. Okay. It's in the big bat. It's in the big thing. All right, just, all right. Relax. Hold on. It's a that one. Yeah, that's big. Ah, uh, it is a big piece. Let's see what do we got going on. Those are the tires. So we thought we we thought we would hang out with you guys on on Father's Day. Do a little father-son combo and um that's what we're doing so i'll read i will chat with the stream and i will build for you all right let's see who's who's here who's here on this fine father's day we've got sc dirt bike day we got benji child of god gavin mr roiga carusta island ryland Solid and Joe Stanley, dude. So, uh, yeah, we, we've had a, uh, it's been a, it's been a good Father's Day. The, uh, did I show you? Did I show you? I made the little video where he, he, he gave me the painting from school, which was is pretty much as good as it gets, man. <laughs> nothing like, nothing like a painting of a truck, a truck, dude, right? And, um, now let's see if we can get this right there. Boom. And uh, and then we did. We went to uh, we went to church. He went to Sunday school. He ran into his new little buddy Jackson. Had clicked heads, so he brewed, He's got a pretty good golf ball on his forehead. Show me your golf ball. Look at that. You see the golf ball there? It's gonna be it's gonna be a black and blue. See, it was it was classic. So they got the whole thing right. You check them in. It's all it's all pretty pretty modern modern checking in all right let's dial this in a little bit better dude let's see can we get wait let me dial this in for the lego channels there we go 
All right, can we do that? Is that going to work? Where's the Lego channel build? Hold on, everybody. I, I didn't fully think this out as well as I should have. Ah, it's almost right there, but there's way. Oh, I can't flip it yet. Hold on one second. Oh, wait, I can't block. I can't block the feed either. Ah, where is it? Where is it? Hold on. Okay, I, I see what I need to do. There we go. Wait a sec. All right, we got that. All right, we got that for the for the Lego channel. We the Lego channel has been pretty dormant lately. Apologize to the Lego channelers and um, all the scraps. Thank you for the link to the Lego channel. That is below down below. So um, this set was Marie. Thank you. Thank you for thank thank you and Vern for the beautiful surprise set, dude. Can you Marie? Can you email me your uh, your address? I got. I'm gonna send you up your hat you want and um, a couple other goodies. I really do appreciate you sending sending Al and me this. It was very kind to you. So anyway, so we went to uh, from beautiful Victoria, British Columbia. It's a city, I've, a place I've always wanted to get to. So um, so we went to church today. So we checked him in at Sunday school. I'm in the thing, like, listening to the sermon, whatever. They have screens, you know, and, and the uh, the pastor's showing some. He's talking about, like, scripture and, and constitutional amendments and the Salem witch trials. Dude, it was pretty interesting. And then all of a sudden I see these, like, there's this picture from, like, a uh, the Salem witch trials, right? And I see these numbers on the bottom and I'm like, what are those weird numbers, man? I just thinking to myself, what are those weird numbers, right? And then all of a sudden I hear one of the, the ushers be like, hey, is that, what's the number for your, because you check in and you get a little receipt when you check in your child at the Sunday school stuff. So uh, I was like, I, I heard them and they're like, is your, not, or is your child in this? And I was like, Oh, and I look and I pull the thing out. And it's my numbers on the screen at, at the sermon, right? And I'm like, oh boy, I better boogie back there. And I go back there. He's like, they're like, he's fine. He's fine. He just ran into another child. And I was like, oh, okay. And so we had like the full, and then we left. And uh, he got the afternoon off. Didn't you? Did you get the afternoon off? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so that was that was our thing, and then. Um, what, what do I got to do here? What am I? What do you want me to do? Wow! Look at this. Is it in there? No, it's not. It looks like it is. Oh, oh, okay. I, I got. It. I see. I see. I see. Hold on. I see. Hold on. Oh wait, our phone. Just a second, Lego channelers, dude. I got a problem here. Don't don't even do it. You're gonna cause it more trouble. Just let it be for a second, bird. Shouldn't that like click in a little bit more solid, dude? It seems like wait, hold on. Hold on. I don't get what's going on here. Wait a second. Okay, that's off. All right, I get it. I get it now. There we go. I got it. I got. Wait, where's the uh, uh, the Lego channelers? Hold on, Lego channelers. Just a second. Let me get them back. Yeah, no, it's no, it is, dude. But it, I'm just using it to prop up the the camera on the Lego channel. They got a better view of you building. Oh wait, whatever, dude. There's a little. Wait, let me back this up. And. There we go. I think we're good on the Lego channel. Can they see you making stuff? Yeah. That's pretty involved, like, gear thing going on here. But um, all right. Look, dude, I'm going to start. Obviously, Caterpillar, you're new here, dude. We, uh, I'm going to have to put you on a penalty lap for um, – for using all caps. We don't use all caps here. It's like the one rule. Anyway, so uh 
so we uh we did uh we did that so i brought him home and then um i did some gardening today did some gardening and then my dad and mom came over and we hung out so it was uh three generations of the patterson's rolling hard g pa g ma and myself and uh so yeah it was it was cool it was uh it was cool and uh yeah that's about it that we put the chickens are now rolling in the backyard pretty hard mike mike has has realized they're too big to harm and so that's that's great yeah, mike doesn't eat them now. i don't think i don't think mike ate them bird i really don't wow look at you this is pretty involved what you're building look like that some sort of transmission or something it's pretty involved dude wait should we yeah it's on the wrong side. All right, make sure it's on the correct side, dude. Don't don't blow it. Don't blow it, dude. We're depending upon you. And um, so yeah, that that's what's going on. And um, and we're just we figured we would hang out and do this with y'all and celebrate uh, some father son action because um, it, it it's not easy being a dad. It's definitely not easy being a mom either, but uh, we we persevere. We uh we get that. Daddy, well, they're there, dude. What pieces are you looking for? Yes. What would they be? This one right here, like right in your staring, right. and right here, there's another one. Oh, wait. Let me be your eyes. Let me be. Let me be your eyes, dude. But ah. Raz has been here since smell the leather. What a long, strange trip it's been, right? So, um, so yeah, we're here, dude. Yeah, you right like that, Marie, dude. The chickens that are too big for Mike. He knows it. He's he he knows they're they're big enough. They're, I think he understands they're part of the team too. I think at this point now he's he's like, all right, the chickens like are part of the team. Yeah. Mike probably likes them. Yeah, Mike probably likes them now. Maybe. And um nah, thank you, Nick, Nico. Yeah. Nico. So Owl's Owl's get the next bowl cut's coming. Owl's gonna do it, right, Bird? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna run the scissors. I can't what? You can't what? You can't you can't handle the truth, man. Wait, what do you need some help with, dude? Hold up. Let me help you. These are hard on your finger. Yeah. There you go. Let me let me click let me click a brick, dude. Uh oh. Let me click a brick, man. Oh, there you go. I got it just right. Now look at me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, this one's involved. We'll see if Al can pull this one up. This is a. Uh, that's only ten. What? What? How could I get it wrong, dude? You How? 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 You're you're hey hey the way you're talking to me right now is a fail, dude. Like whatever, dude. I don't need it, man. Where are you gonna put those in? Yeah. Where do they go? What do you mean where do they go? Do they go right there? Uh oh. What oh oh I'm not a bad guy? Ah. Ah. So Owl's, Owl's classic, he uh, he actually picked me out a, a Father's Day gift on his own. Got me a pair of green Javianas flip-flops, which is pretty rad. You picked them out yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You knew I needed He was like, my old, my old, my old flip-flops were beat, like duct taped together and stuff. So Owl was like, let's get him some flip-flops, man. So I thought that was pretty classic, dude. Um, the way you're talking to me right now is a fail, dude. <laughs> there's my there's my dad skills right there. Uh, a little bit, dude. What? Are, so what do we got? What? So what? What are you guys doing on out there, dude? This is this is way more interactive than uh my normal live streams, because uh. 
generally I do this over on the Lego channel, but um, since we're over here, because it is Father's Day, thank you, Daniel. Um, what are you doing for Owl's birthday? We're doing a two-parter because it's on a Wednesday, right? So he's still the last week of school is this week. So we're uh, Tuesday after swimming. We're coming home, and an Owl and I are going to make all of his – Dude, what just happened, man? Like that. Wait, hold on. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna make cupcakes for all of his friends at school. Like we gotta make like twenty four of them or something. And twenty one, yeah. But we're sending a couple extras, dude. Uh oh. And um, what what's the problem, man? Why can't you? What, what's the problem, dude? What? Uh, what what's the problem? Dude? Why do you have to use that tone? What's the, that's it? The, it's fine. It flips over, dude. Like it's there. It flips it over. Hold on. Um. How do I get this back? We lost it on the Lego channel. It looks like we actually lost the stream, dude. Somehow. That blows. Let me see if I can fix that, dude. Hmm. Nope. Go live. Where's the one? Don't, don't. Ah, darn, dude. That's a, that's a. All right. So that's not going to work out. All right, dude. Sorry, um, y'all on on the other channel. We what we need to delete this ASAP. Hold. Sorry about that, people. I gotta like handle this. There's, you can't let these things just run run rampant. Mm -hmm. Edit. How do I delete this thing, dude? Ah. Delete from YouTube. Bam. All right. So anyway, okay, we're back to uh we're back to we're back in the game, dude. We're back. Where were we? So uh I don't know, dude. Modern footwear crushes the human foot. Yeah, I, I, you're not gonna see me running around. I need I need I need my I need my kicks for the skateboard, man. Oh, there's, there's this dude who rides barefoot. He shreds, dude, but whatever. Okay. Where are we at? Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Randall. I appreciate it. So I was, go I was just about to go somewhere with this whole thing. Yeah, thanks, all the scraps. But the... Uh, Barefoot border. Yeah, yeah. Guy's Hawaiian, man. He does do a really good job skating barefoot. But uh it seems it seems to be a little bit. I don't know, dude. It's what shoes are for, right? Protect your feet, man. Oh, what well, we're up to for Al's birthday. Thank you, Carooster. So uh we're coming back Tuesday and we're 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 making cupcakes for a school. So he's doing, so we're going to school on Wednesday, which is the second to last day of school. We're going in and uh, we are going to make cupcakes for his, all the kids at a school. And uh, we're doing that on Wednesday. And then we're having like a the fa little family birthday party Wednesday night with just uh, Owl and my parents and all mellow. And then Saturday is the actual birthday party. Where his friend where his friends are gonna come over. His little his little uh group of buddies are gonna come over and we're gonna get uh we're gonna get our dinosaur on, dude. That's the vibe. That's the vibe that Al asked for was and I'm I'm I got a yeah, uh, I got a what the heck are you shock absorbers player? Look at those! Look at those little Lego parts, little shock absorbers. Fancy, 
Yeah, look at that weird piece. Yep. So, uh, and then um, no headbutting. Now, dude, this dude was racked today. He literally came home and was like, had, I gave him a cut, some uh, couple Advil and was like, dude, just go kick it on the couch and uh, watch watch your little cartoon thing he likes, his little dinosaur cartoon. Was it Land of the Lost? No, so, Land Before Time. Land Before Time and um, no Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, no thanks, dude. Just, just no thanks. So anyway, yeah, we're do, we're doing that. We're having the little the little birthday gathering with him and his friends, and um, yeah, we're uh, getting through it. We don't go to public school, J J Mac. We don't participate in public school. Are you kidding me, dude? We're. The, it's the it's the new time, dude. We're we're uh, we're splitting off, man. He's fired up. He likes his whole Sunday school thing, dude. Al, what's your favorite toy? Pedro, um, Proto's asking. What is your favorite, most favorite toy? If you could only take one toy to leave the house, what would it be? That, but that's today. Like if you could go through all of your toys. What's your number one favorite toy? This one. Okay, there you go, dude. One. It's, a, a, it's a dollar. It's a dollar. <laughs> it just goes to show, dude. It just goes to show. Uh, his favorite toy cost a buck. Ah, yes, yes. Well, the funny thing I asked him, I was like, "What do you want for your birthday?" And he was like tissue paper i was gonna get him a huge thing of tissue paper but then i just ah. i decided that wouldn't be very very good he was like tissue paper i was like wow dude or i said tissue paper and he's like yeah i want tissue paper i was like a big box full of tissue paper you know like the like the colored tissue paper they wrap presents in and stuff like that kind of tissue paper all right, wait, hold on. What do you need me to do, dude? What's what's going on? What's going on? Hey, let me check it out. Just take this thing out. Okay, well, can I have it? Yeah, just take only that one. Which one? This one, right there. All right, why are you barking at me, man? Let go. Why are you barking at me? There you go. What's the problem, dude? What? What's up, Mr. Sassenfrass? Mr. Sassenfrass is going to be six. Are you going to be six? Or are you going to be four? Six. Six. He's like, he's like a fully like brooding adult. Gonna, I feel like at six, he's going to start listening to the cure and be like, ah, oh, dad, I'm like six. You don't understand what it is to be like six. Oh, okay. let me help you, dude. What's the problem? Can I help you? Will you allow me to help you? Here, let me help you. Why are you struggling like that? Why do you get like that, dude? It's not, this is advanced. That's okay. Let me have, just, let me help you, man. Okay. Whoa, whoa, here. It's all right. You're allowed to ask for help. So what? There you go. Look, right? Is that what you wanted? Did we get it? Did we? Let me see. Did, are we there? Okay, okay, okay. This thing's involved, man. It's a dot. It's Dom's Dar Dodge Charger, man. Ah, Dom, Fast and the Furious, man. I guess I. So I. I you know what? Since we're here, I'll tell you my Paul Walker story. I, I don't know if I've ever told you my Paul. Paul Walker, rest in peace. He was a. He's a friend of mine, an acquaintance, a friend. So I had, I had, uh, so this is in, in honor of, of the, because this is a fast and furious set. I don't really like do that, but you know, Paul has passed away and it was a while ago. So I was, uh, I went down to, uh, I went down to Costa Rica with my, my friend Billy, dude. So Billy and I, we went down to Costa Rica, right? And, um, Costa Rica. And, uh, we were down there. We were down in, um, we had gone down with my folks first and we'd gone down to the Oso Peninsula and done a bunch of stuff with them. And 
spent about a week doing that down the Oso Peninsula. And then Billy and I split because we were going to go over to the uh, Puerto Viejo and hang out over there for a while. So I'd go surfing and Billy was on his way to Panama. And so we went out, we were in, um, we weren't in man. We weren't in man. What were we in Manuel Antonio? Manuel Antonio, my like godfather had a hotel, like a jungle retreat in Manuel Antonio. So we'd gone to Manuel Antonio and then we'd gone up to the, ah, what is the town? Was it, were we in? Yeah, we were in Manuel Antonio and, um, Hold on just a second. Let me get, I got to get names and places dialed to do this proper. And so, um, there we are. Oh, yeah. Then we went up to Hako, dude. So we were staying up. Thank you, uh, Practical Institution. Practical Institution. Thank you. Double bump. I appreciate it. So we, uh, we went to, uh, we were up in Hako stand there for like two nights. So Billy and I didn't have a car. So our thing was we were going to catch, I don't know, transit over to the thing, but I needed to go to Hako, um, I believe to buy a couple surfboards. Cause when I used to go down to Costa Rica, it was cheaper just to buy surfboards down there than actually travel with them. And, and just easier in general. So I went, went up to Hako to buy another, a, a bigger board. Cause I was going over to the Caribbean side so we're hanging out in Hako for a whatever a day or so. So we were this is back when I used to drink and stuff. So Billy and I were up drinking at some local dive with a pool table, and we were playing pool. And these two dudes walk in, two gringos walk in, and they're wearing it's like Costa Rica, dude. It's hot, hot. These dudes walk in with long sleeve t-shirts and jeans on and like tennis shoes and we're hanging out we end up playing pool with these dudes and so we're playing pool with these dudes and and the, and we were like kind of busting their ball they were in full clothes and it turned out what had happened was they were uh you got to know this is paul walker pre fast and furious and we'll get into that in a second so these dudes had walked in and what had happened is their, their luggage had gotten lost on the airplane flight. So they were, they were supposedly going up to, they were going originally going up to Witch's Rock in the, in the uh, Northwest corner of, of Costa Rica to go surfing, but they couldn't because they needed to go to Hako to wait for their luggage to arrive, all their surfboards and cameras and their whole thing. So it was, it was my friend, Paul, and his his buddy Oakley, and so we were. What what what's the problem, dude? Do you need some help? Do you want to ask for help? Because I will help you. You, I'm not a mind reader, dude. Just and so uh, so we see these dudes and we're like, end up playing pool with these guys all night, and um. Doing the thing, and they had they had a car, so they had a car, right? And I was they were surfers, and I was like, "Hey, man, can I get a ride to the beach in the morning with you guys?" And they're like, "Yeah, totally, dude. We'll pick you up in the morning, and we'll go to Surf Playa Hermosa or wherever." And I was like, "Rad, dude, epic!" So these guys pick me up in the uh, in the morning. We go surfing. We have a great day. They come back. I think we end up hanging out with them the next night. And they're like, look, we're going to go. We're going over to the Caribbean side. So me and my buddy, Billy, we were going to take the bus over to the Caribbean side the next day. And they were like, why don't you come with us? We're going to go over to the Caribbean side tomorrow. Why don't you just roll with us? And we're like, all right, epic, dude. We, just, we don't have to take the bus. We can. Get, you have a car. We'll, we'll roll with you. So they had rented like a Toyota forerunner or something and uh so we we go we go to meet these dudes in the morning we load up in the in the toyota forerunner you gotta know i don't know who these dudes are yeah there's just some there's these two dudes we met so we get it we hop in the back of this forerunner and it's right out of some movie dude 
the dude, the dude driving Oakley just takes off. Boom, dude. And they're like, we're going to get to the Caribbean side before it gets dark so we can go surfing. And I was like, all right, let's do it. So we got to drive all the way from the Pacific side over through San Jose down to the Puerto Viejo on the backside. They're like, well, there's a surf spot we can get to before dark. So we, we jam, dude. So the minute we get in the car and it turns on, the dude takes off. It turns out the dude is, is Paul's stunt double man. Right. And, uh, we're taking, but I, again, I don't know any of this dude. We take off. This guy's driving like a bat out of hell, dude. And this thing we're, we're flying dude. And, uh, because they got a mission. And so Paul and my buddy, my buddy Billy's like a car geek, right? They they start talking cars. I don't talk car. I can care less, right? They start talking car. I'm drinking Imperials, watching the, the road, just watching the madness on the road. The dude driving is 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 like passing cars and like on the shoulders and just rawr, like climbing up the mountains. So we get we get to we get to like the outskirts of San Jose, the capital city, which is up on the top of the mountain. Essentially, we get to the thing and we've been ripping up the mountain. Do we get to the thing and it's like we hit like freeway traffic, and he's like, "We're taking the frontage road, like the dirt frontage road, because we're on a mission, right?" And he's a. Turns out we find out on the thing he's like, "We're we're we're doing our post." rap vacation we just wrapped doing this movie that's coming out called fast and the furious of course you gotta understand like no one's ever heard of this we're like the first civilians to have heard to hear about fast and the furious so we're, we're in the car with these dudes and he's like yeah i'm a stunt dude and whatever and so we're driving on the front of the road flying i mean flying dude and all of a sudden he's flying and he sees that there, there's like a like the road's out, dude. Straight out of Duke's a hazard. The dude floors it and hits the hits the berm, dude, and launches the launches the forerunner over this gap, dude. It was madness, dude. It was like the hottest, one of the hottest random, like what is going on moments, dude. We launch the this thing, we clear the gap, we're punching it, we get into San Jose. I, madness ensues in San Jose of us trying to get through the city. I something crazy's going on, and this was back when I used to video eight everything. I'm filming the whole thing. This is all the stuff that burned up in the fire because I kept all this footage under wraps, dude, just out of respect for Paul. And uh, and so we we get we get through San Jose through some madness, dude, and we're now we're going down down the backside of the mountain, down to Puerto Viejo. Again, we're just flying stunt driver stuff, dude. These We're on a mission to get to the surf spot before it gets dark. We're racing the sun, dude. And uh, I remember there's this one part where we're flying, because when you drop out of the mountains on the Caribbean side, you get sort of into, like, the flatlands, heading to Puerto Viejo. And, uh, and, uh, we're passing this banana truck, like this, this, this panel truck full of this truck full of bananas. And Paul's like hanging outside the window and our whole, his whole thing's to like grab, grab a banana off this truck. We're going like flying, dude. He's like, I'm going to get a banana, dude. And he's hanging outside the truck and he's getting this banana. We get, so we get to this surf spot. I forget the name of it, dude. And it's the sketchiest surf spot ever because Puerto Viejo is like 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 a third world city, dude. Is it Puerto Viejo? Yeah, no, Limon. Limon's where we're going. Puerto Viejo is the little Caribbean town. Limon is the little city we go to, which is like a third world third world country. Here, let me help you. You got it. So we pull up at this weird surf spot, and it's this reefing weird reefing thing and it's like breaking in front of this rock like like this weird right in front of this rock onto this beach but there's all this like jagged 
rusty pipes and stuff and it's just hucking and myself my my buddy billy didn't surf he just went right for cuba libres and started drinking and uh so we go and surf Daddy, your friend Billy did. no you know billy did i talk to him all the time and so we go and we surf this crazy wave right before dark it's super sketchy the three of us bond on like gnarly surfing we go, we get, it's hectic, dude. Leash is breaking and madness, dude. And so, uh, so we go and we go get my buddy Billy. And he's, I'll never forget it. He's, he has this bar bill that's like handwritten from the girl that's literally like this long. He's just been sucking Cooper Lee Rays the whole time, dude. It's like that long. So we go and we rent a, uh, we go rent a, like a, a hostel or a room or something. We yeah. rent a room. We stay at this place. What are we looking for? What are we looking? Another one of these? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You got it. All right. So we go rent a room, and and it turns out. Oh, before that, we meet the the number one local. This dude Antonio. He's like. He paddled out and he's like, there's one other dude surfing besides us. Cause we just bolted. We were racing the sun. We surfed this sketchy wave. This dude, Antonio is like, you guys are, no one ever comes and surfs here, dude. This local Tico guy. It's like, no one ever surfs here. Dude, you guys are gnarly, dude. Like what's your deal? Dude, this wave's sketchy and kind of like nobody surfs it. It's so dangerous, dude. And we're like, dude, we're just trying to surf before it gets dark. And he's like, all right, dude, you guys are in. He's like, you guys want to surf a gnarlier wave in the morning? And we're like, yeah, dude. Like, we want to surf. He's like, the left on the other side of this bay is, is, is the spot. I think the surf spot was, what was the surf spot called? And it doesn't matter. Keep it secret, right? So he's like, I'm going to take you out in this, to this other spot in the morning, but get up. I'm going to be at your guy's place at like the crack of dawn, dude, right? So we're like, all right, man. He's like, don't, he, what, this is what he says. He's like, whatever you do, don't go out. You're not to go out tonight. You're to be ready to surf this gnarly wave in the morning. It's going to be going crazy. And of course we didn't listen. So we went into, into Limon, right? And we went to go have dinner, dude. So we're at, <laughs> we're at this dinner, dude, eating outside next to like some like mall or something you got to realize limon is sort of third world-ish dude like caribbean third world-ish dude we're eating dinner and there's like this crazy like shootout thing that happens like there's like some crazy thing and like myself paul and oakley we're all la dudes so like when the the, the shooting starts we don't do anything because we know just don't start running you'll get you could get shot right so we just hang out, eat our pizza. My buddy Billy's like tripping. And this dude's like an international traveler. It's madness going on. We eat our pizza. We get back. We stay up way too late. We get up. This dude Antonio's at our pounding on our door. First thing he's like, let's go, you guys. So we go. But like Paul, because he's under contract, was like, dude, I can't. I can't go surf that gnarly way with you guys. I, like, I can't risk getting hurt. I got the movie premiere coming. We're like, all right, whatever, dude. So me and the dude Oakley show up, dude. We go with this dude in the morning and it's this left. And it's, you got to understand if you're not a surfer, you wouldn't understand, but it's like this double up left where the only way you can get the wave is to paddle into the dry reef and flip it and get in that like under hook. And so this dude, Antonio, he's like, you got to listen to what I tell you to do and do exactly what I tell you to do, dude. And like, we're like, all right, man. Like this dude literally, like if he had been a bad dude, could have gotten us killed. But he's like, all right, dude, I want you to paddle in towards the reef. And when you get there, get under the little hook and get in the wave, dude. And we, it was, I'm telling you like to this day, the one of the most magical surfing experiences ever, dude, because it was all based upon trusting this dude we'd met like 12 hours before and just putting our life in his hand and him just being like, do it. And we were like, all right, dude. And we did it. Me and me and Oakley and this dude had like the raddest one of those things that just I hadn't I haven't thought about it in years, dude. 
trippy. Anyway, so uh, it was super rad, dude. And I think we spent one more night and then they were like, look, we got to go home. We're leaving. So we spent like a week with these dudes. And then me and Billy went down to Puerto Viejo so I could surf uh, whatever that wave is. The gnarly salsa brava. So and then Billy was going down to Panama. And so from there, like I developed a like friendship with these two dudes. And I uh, would surf with them a bunch and hang out and always saw them on the down low, dude. And then then you know, you know what happened to Paul. But uh uh Paul died in a like a car wreck, burned up, dude. So uh, but it was it was just one of those weird experiences where like like it's funny because when this this like I said, this we knew about it early. And they were like, oh, it's going to be this movie. It's about these cars. And my buddy, with they were talking cars. But it was, um, rest in peace, Paul. Paul, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about Paul Walker, man. He's one of, the, one of the nicest, one of the nicer people I've met in this lifetime, dude. Beautiful soul. Very, very much not a Hollywood dude. Very much about the people. Avid surfer. Average local down low, keep it on the down low surfer. What what's what's wrong, buddy? Let me help. Let me help. What what's going on? This is complicated. Okay, what, where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, let's see. Where are we at? So this goes into there. All right, and then these go in the side. Is that what we're doing? And then they go right here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do I have? Okay, and they go into these things. Mm -hmm. All right, wait a second. Okay. Oh, okay, I gotta click. Okay, that's why you had to click that thing in there. And there we go. We got it in there. Yeah, look at look at this thing. Look at how crazy this thing is, dude. <laughs> what, what is that? Look at the the the, the transmission. Okay, yeah, whatever. Keep building. So yeah, we lost a good one when because that dude was was legit, man. Nice guy, deserved to uh deserved to have, have made it, man. And uh yeah. I haven't, thought, I haven't thought about that in a long time, man. He was a dad. He was a dad. We have lost some friends to fast cars too. Yeah, cars will cars will get you, dude. It's funny, man. Nobody makes a big deal about all the people that get smoked by cars every year. Not they don't require us to stay indoors. So I was speaking of it. I was at the church today, and they had this uh, this pastor who's affiliated with the church from Uganda today, and uh, he was on his dashiki and stuff. If that's if I'm using this properly but um he was like dude they just implemented a 42 day gnarly like authoritarian lockdown in uganda he was telling us dude like like you're not even allowed to leave your like house like under like martial law stuff but that's what's going on in uganda if you want to report from the front lines breaking news uganda 42 days in the hole and uh yeah he toad in the hole toad in the hole dude and um, so you, you do realize we're just doing this number back and that's it for today, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next week, you know, yeah, yeah. Because because this, uh, we'll be lucky if we get out of here in under an hour, dude. Um, anyway, oh, the Jeep Rubicon Rocket Mom, that thing looks rad, dude. The Technics are pretty rad when they're they're done very, they're done pretty well, man. So yeah, man, rest in peace, Paul. And his his stuntman double is is just a solid soul too out there. I should have probably kept his name anonymous, but I didn't do anything defamatory here. I don't believe. I love you, Oakley. I've seen you in a while, dude. And um, so yeah, that was uh, one of my random traveling experiences of just bumping into just to, just some dudes who had jeans on in the heat, dude. 
Because if those dudes hadn't had jeans on and long sleeve shirts, me and my buddy wouldn't have been like, let's go challenge them to a pool game. We can take them. So uh, I got, so, so you know, so me and my buddy, right? So we left from when we left those dudes. I'll just keep telling the story, dude. So when we left those dudes, I, uh, it was right. Oh, that's right. It was right before Christmas, dude. That's right. It's right before Christmas. We're in Limon and we're going to catch a bus down to Puerto Viejo, right? Bill in the Peace Corps. He's like an international third world traveler guy, dude. His whole thing is just, he's traveled everywhere, right? And so, look, dude. We're going to take this bus, but it's going to get gnarly, dude. I'm like, what do you mean? Because we're at the little bus, the bus thing. And he's like, look, dude, it's going to get, it's like right before the holidays. It's going to get crazy. Everyone getting on this bus. He's like, all right, look, this is what I want you to do, dude. I got my, I got a surfboard. I had surfboards with me, which is, you've never traveled with surfboards. It's super hard. What's up, Bert? Why, why do you have to react like that? Let me, let me see what's going on. Let me see what's going on, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, this is involved, dude. Just give me a second. Hold on, dude. All right. Well, let's see. We got these built. All right. We need two of those, right? Okay. Okay. Let's get this going on. Okay. Wait. Hold on. So now... Wait, wait, I had to back up the page. Right? Oh, no, or is it like that? Okay. Okay, okay. All right, hold on. And then that goes there. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, okay, I got it. Look at that. Okay. See, look at it. It's so involved. Whoa, dude, that's gnarly. Look at that suspension right there. Wait, let's see that. I'm excited. Whoa, whoa, what's this all about? Holy smokes. Whoa. Well, let me just show no, them what we did. No, I need this. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, we, we got, I did that. We got those in. So you're on to the next page. There you go. So, uh, so we, uh, we're in Limon, right? And we're at the bus terminal. It's like right before Christmas, the weekend before Christmas or something. There's a reason it's all crazy. It's right before Christmas. So we've already been in the shootout. We've already been at the gnarly crazy wave. We've already done the extreme a sticker print stunt. Eight. Sticker print eight. Sticker print eight. All right, dude. I'm not even sticker print ready, dude. Eight. eight. All right, here, dude. Yeah. I see. I know what sticker it is. I just don't know where it's going. I don't have my tool with me. Hold on. That's gonna work. It'll be fine. So uh, we're at the we're at the bus thing. My buddy Billy's like, "Look, dude, I want you. We're right on the curb. There's a there's." The bus and the whole, there's people everywhere. He's like, all right, dude, you're, and I got my surfboard, right? He's like, look, dude, I want you to stand here. No matter what happens, dude, do not move from this spot, dude. I'm going to go get us our bus tickets, but you got to stand here. Whatever happens, don't relinquish your spot, dude. So I'm standing there at the thing. That's right. The bus isn't there. The bus pulls up, dude, and I'm standing like in the spot at the line. The bus pulls up. And there's like this immediate scrum at the bus door. And the right in front of me is there's like this old dude, like an old man. And the the he gets knocked in on the ground between the gutter and the, the front door of the bus. And the door opens and people just start walking over this dude. And, I, and people are pushing me, and I got the surfboards, and it's crazy. And I'm looking at this old dude on the ground, dude, and I'm like, this is too much for me, dude. Like, there are people are grabbing him and the whole thing. You know what I mean? It's not like people are stampeding him. They're like, someone's helping him. And, but I was like, dude, I got no business 
being here right now. I go, I'm out, dude. So I, so I get out, I get out of line with my thing and I'm standing there and everyone's built. And my buddy Billy comes up, dude. He's like, he said, what are you doing, dude? And I'm like, dude, they like knocked an old man down on in the, like under the bus. And like, he's like, dude, why'd you get out of line? I told you not to get out of line, dude. I go, but they knocked it. He's like, yeah, dude, but that's just the way it is, man. Like, don't you understand? It's the only bus and it's holiday season. And like, yeah, dude, it's like, it's survival of the fittest, dude. And I'm like, dude, I, I, I go, I go, let's just hire a car, dude. Like, let's like, literally let's hire a car. This is insanity. And he's like, he was sort of, he had this like disappointed vibe in me. Cause this dude had traveled like through Africa for years, dude. And he was just like soft. He's like, you're a soft gringo, dude. Like, psh. I remember just looking at it. My buddy Billy's the raddest dude. Just him just being like, all right, dude, we'll take the car. Fine. <laughs> and so we hired the car, dude, to take us down to, to Limon, like an hour down the road, dude. And so we're down in Limon, man. We get we get into this hostel and we run our room and we're in the back there. And it's me and my boy Billy. And the waves are going psycho at this spot. He's like, dude, you're nuts. And like the, at the at Puerto Viejo or yeah, Puerto Viejo, the Salsa Bravo wave is crazy, dude. It's not, it's like the volcano, the earthquake had jacked up the reef. So it like dry reefs and it's sketchy. And it's like the Caribbean side, the swells just come out of shot. Like it just travels in shallow water and it's just super heavy, dude. And like, it's full, like take, take your life in your own hands, dude. What, what's wrong, dude? Hold on, hold on. What's, what's wrong? Wait, wait, it's okay. Let me help you, dude. Let, where are we at? Where are we at? We're right here. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, dude. Hold, hold, hold the, hold the fire, dude. Wait, hold on, buddy. Let me just, can you not make a big stink right now, dude? Please. Okay. Let me, I got to figure out where we're at on this operation. Okay. That's got to go in. That's got to go in there. Okay. All right. All right. That's why your dad's here, bro. Little man. Little man. You're not a little guy anymore. Oh, because why? You're going to be six? Do you stop being a little guy all of a sudden, dude? Look, you're always going to be my little guy, even when you become a big dude. All right. Just let me have that. All right. And then. What's page 24. Seems like something else is supposed to be going on here, but all right, there you go. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. So, uh, so I, I remember we uh, we we we, had, we rented our little like cabin in the back of this like hostel, right? Like a full hot like youth hostel thing, right? You know, ping pong tables. I've told this story before. So we so we we spend the first night there. And we wake up the next morning with like our hangovers and the whole thing. And, there, and we look out like our little back window and there's like the most psychotic looking Tico you've ever seen. And he's, he's like in the back and he's just hacking um, coconuts with this giant gnarly machete. But he's got this like crazy look and he's just hacking. He doesn't really seem to be doing anything except hacking this stuff to pieces, dude. What, what's wrong? I can't find another one. Another one of what, dude? What are you looking for? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You got them? Okay. And uh, I, they always stand out to me, man. And then I went surfing. It was pretty crazy. So then we're in the thing, and we're at the stand at this hostel Daddy, for a while. I need <sighs> what? What? I need go get one. You know how to go get a kombucha. I'm talking to people, dude. Go get a kombucha. Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Okay. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't, you have, do your feet work? Do your feet work, right? Yeah, but I, I, I just need you to get me some of the one building. Are you deep in the build? Yeah, I'm deep. All right, can you ask me nicely? Please, what was that? Please, please. all right, please wins. Please wins. And uh, 
Oh, oh. What happened, dude? What's going on, dude? What, 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 the, why do you have the whiny voice on, dude? I need help finding one more of these. Okay, but one more of what? These. Like this one right here? Ah, oh, boom. I'm going to tax you some of this. <laughs> you see that face? I didn't take, I barely got a sip in. Can I have another sip? No. Please? Whoa. The big bark from a little, little boy. Arr. How about we move this out no. so you don't spill? Drink some then, dude. Arr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I have another sip? You're not going to, I went and got it for you, dude. I picked that up from the market for you, dude. Still Why can't I have any? Because you just <laughs> Put it as far away from me as you can. My, I have long arms, dude. Can you reach it? Oh, just keep building. Because uh, we're ending. Dude, let's have Al. Can we do this? Can we just... Look, this, there, this is a lot of parts. Can we stop right here? No. I don't want to do that much more. Oh, yeah. Let me see where we're at. Let me see where we're at. We're stop. I'm going to tell you where we're stopping. Mm. We're stopping right here. No. Nope. Yeah, we are, no, dude. I want to finish number bag one. Dude, number bag. I'm looking at it right now. Number bag one with all the parts we have and how complicated this is, is another hour. Dude, we're not doing it. No. Yes. Owl. Dude, Maybe look. Just stop right here. Let's stop right here then, bud. Aren't you hot? Aren't you? Look, look, look. Look, it's almost like I'm saying. Let's let's go. Let's let's let that. This look, 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 look. We're number. Let me just show you how far down the book it is. Like just so you get a grasp of like. Number bag one has this many pages left. So that's fit page 56. We're at page, that's 30 pages. Dude, we're not even halfway through number bag one yet. Dude. We've been at it an hour. Let's take a break. We'll leave all this here and we'll, we'll, we'll get to this after school tomorrow, okay? Deal? Can we roll that plan? Yeah? Thanks. Yeah, okay. What is it? Yeah. I got, I got through it, dude. That went easier than I thought. Is it still daytime? That went easier than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Go play with the chickens. Need some loving. You want to put them in the atrium? Yeah. Yeah. That went, I will tell you. That went so much easier than I thought that was going to go, dude. <laughs> I thought for sure that was going to go go completely sideways. I can't believe I negotiated my way out of that one relatively easily. I think he understood, like, that's a lot. This thing's gnarly, dude. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Spring-loaded rear. With the uh, the axle, the whole thing, dude. I don't know. That's involved. Anyway. So that's uh, thank you, Pampered Hen. Oh, I've seen you around in a while, Pampered Hen. Good to see you. So with that that said, look on on the way out the door. Happy Father's Day. Dads are super important out there. And, uh, you know, I heard something in, in uh, yeah, we're all, everybody's plays an important part. It's all about the children. It's all about the children and uh, making a better, better future for everybody involved, right? 
by our present actions, our presence right now, being present and here and spending some time and doing what we got to do and all that stuff. So with that said, I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to take the, uh, the easy way out right now and just say good night. God bless. Thank you. Marie Vern. Thank you for sending us this beautiful Lego set. And, um, I hope you had a great father's day out there. And if it's not too late to, uh, call your dads, even if it's sticky, dude, you can still just call your dad and just tell him you love him, man. And, uh, it's just, it's that man. And God bless, stay hydrated and, um, use the name tags and be kind to each other. Thank you for hanging out with us for the last hour. Appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow. It sounds like after school for, uh, for another session of Dom's Dodge Charger. <laughs> the illusion. We're out.